Okay, uh, let's look at the practice exam two, problem number seven, All right? So what we're doing is that the start with a square piece of uh, uh, material and uh, take uh, x by x square from all four corners, then uh, fold these uh, side walls up to make an open box like that, All right? So uh, you can see that uh, this part uh, corresponds to the base of the open box. And since you start with a 12 inches by 12 inches piece, and uh, you are taking away X from both sides. So you can see that the length here, uh, one side of the um, base is uh, 12 minus 2X, right? Because you are taking away 2Xs. So it's a 12 minus 2x by 12 by 2x. And the x corresponds to the height of the open box. All right? So 12x minus 2x uh, both have uh, 2 in it. So we, I'm going to just uh, factor out 2. So it's a 2 times quantity 6 minus x. All right? Then to express the box, so v of x is going to be simply... Uh, you have x times, right? So you have a 2 time, times quantity 6 minus x by the same thing. So there are 2 times 2 is going to be 4, right? Then quantity 6 minus x times itself. So it's going to be 6 minus x quantity squared, right? So this is the uh, volume function v of x. All right, so that's part A. And part B, we need to find a derivative and all critical numbers. All right, so let's take the derivative. v prime of x is going to be equal to, all right, so 4 is just a constant, so we put it out here. Then we're going to use the product rule. So x is the first guy. And the quantity 6 minus x squared is the second guy. So derivative of the first guy is 1. Times the second guy is quantity 6 minus x squared. And plus, first guy is x times, put 2 in front quantity 6 minus x, right? Then subtract 1 from the power and then multiply by derivative of inside. So derivative of inside is actually negative 1. All right? Then uh, we're going to factor out uh, common factor. So uh, 4 is already out, so put 4, right? Then you have a quantity 6 minus x is in both terms. I, I circle 2 so that I know that there's another 6 minus x. So uh, quantity 6 minus x is factored out. right? And I think that's about it. So we're going to collect the leftover terms. So first you have a 6 minus x here. 6 minus x from the first term. I, one really doesn't do anything, so I ignore that, right? Then you would have a negative 2x. So negative 2x, right? Then clean up a little further. So you have a 4 times quantity 6 minus x, right? Then you have a quantity 6 times, so let's minus, uh, 3x, so minus 3x, All right? Uh, since both of these guys have 3 in it, so factor out 3, so 4 times 3 is 12, and the quantity 6 minus x, right? 3 is out, so it's going to be 6 becomes 2, right? 3 is out, negative 3x becomes negative x, right? Set that equal to 0. All right, we will get uh, critical numbers. So x equals, right from here, 2. 
and also uh, x equals 6, so 2 and 6. Right, so those are the critical numbers. Right, find the dimension of the largest box. Right, so let's do that. Oh, actually, so uh, so this is the derivative. So v prime of x is right here. Right, then this is the critical numbers. Critical numbers. Right. Part C. We want to find the dimensions of the largest open box, right? So we want to maximize this function. So maximize v of x. So we want to maximize uh, v of x, right, on, right? So we can cut, x can only move from, x is the distance or length, so 0 would be the smallest number, right? Then, since you have to cut off x from both sides, uh, and uh, you have only 12 inches, so uh, x can uh, be a, a, a 6 at the most. So, so x only goes from 0 to 6, right? Then we want to maximize that, right? So since uh, we are maximizing a continuous function on a closed interval, all you have to do is check endpoints and the critical numbers, right? So first, the uh, left end point is 0, right? Critical number is 2 and 6, and 6 is actually the right end point too. So uh, v of 2 and uh, v of 6, right? But when x equals 0, volume is obviously 0, because uh, 0 times anything is 0. And also, when x is 6, uh, 6 minus 6, so volume is actually 0, right? So x equals 2 is very promising, so let's plug in 2. So it's a 4 times, right, x is 2, so 2 times, right, you have 6 minus 2, so it's a 4 squared, right? So that's uh, what, uh, let's see, you have uh, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 squared is 16, right? 8 times 6 is 24. Oh, so no. 48, sorry. And 1 times 8 is uh, 8, so 8 plus 4, 4 would be 12, right? So you can see that this is going to be the maximum volume. Right, when x equals 2, right? So since they are looking for the dimensions, so we have to find the dimension. But the x is the height, so x is equal to 2, right? Then if you plug in 2, so 2 times 6 minus 2, so that's going to be 8. And this is, of course, going to be 8, same. So it's going to be 8 by 8 by 2. So it's uh, 8 so largest, the dimension of the largest box is, would be 8 inches times by 8 inches by 2 inches, right? So that's the dimensions of the largest box we can create. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.